I'm Amanda, and I'm going to teach you how to make the Z-Mask. This is the mask that we're making for the P-Band project, and it looks like this when you wear it. So this is the mask I'm going to teach you how to make today. This is what it looks like when it's done and the way that we send it out and people were donating it to. This mask isn't necessarily as intuitive, you don't necessarily know how to put it on when you see it folded like this. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to wear it. So here are the supplies you need to make this mask. You'll have a larger piece here of the cotton. Quilter's cotton works great. It goes on the outside and is what we'll see. Then we have two other layers. One is the inner layer that will go against the wearer's face and it's made of cotton flannel. And then this another layer that goes sandwiched in between. It's an electrostatic layer of chiffon. To make this mask, you'll also need a nose piece. We prefer this coffee bag tie. And then you also need a piece of elastic to make the, the headband. Now for adults, this the outer piece needs to be 10 inches across by nine inches high. And then the inner layers are both the same. They're eight inches across and nine inches high. For kids, we have it nine inches across and six inches high, and the inner layer will be seven inches across and six inches high. Okay, so to sew, the first thing we're going to do is set up and pin everything together. I'm going to put down the outer cotton piece facing me, and then I'm going to put down the flannel piece right side down if your flannel has a right side. So right sides together, you want about an inch on the side and tops and bottoms match. And then you'll put your chiffon on top. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna iron this because you don't wanna iron the chiffon. It may melt against your iron. It'll be fine to iron it once it's between the other fabrics, but you don't wanna put your iron directly on the chiffon. So I'm going to place this chiffon on top. And then I'll put one pin in each corner and take it over to the sewing machine. At the sewing machine, I'll sew across the top about a quarter inch from the edge and again across the bottom a quarter inch from the edge. So we'll go make those two seams. Okay, so I'm holding this right side up. It really doesn't matter. This could be your right side up. It just depends on your pattern, if there's a right side up or not. So I'm gonna sew across the top, about a quarter inch from the edge. Now we'll sew across the bottom, same thing. Okay, then we're gonna take it back to the to our table and add the nose wire in. Okay, so I'm gonna trim here at this point. And then I'm going to take my nose piece and use this. Now this is what I'm using for the adults. It's got both of those wires there. For kiddos, I'm gonna cut that in half it goes over little noses better if it's just one wire instead of two. So what I have has um, sticky on the back, so I'll peel that off. And then I wanna center it and press it right below the stitches that I made. So I'm just gonna center that and put that in there. And I press it to stick it, and then I'm gonna turn it right side out.
I've got the nose piece at the top here. And then I'm going to iron this flat all the way from one edge to the other edge, and then again at the bottom. Okay, then I'm going to take it back to the sewing machine and I'm going to make two more identical um, lines of stitching, one right under the nose piece and then one at the bottom to top stitch. The bottom top stitch will help when you wash it to keep the mask having the same shape. So back to the sewing machine. Okay, so here's the top again. I have my nose piece here along the top. I'm going to turn it and again sew just about a quarter inch in just so I can get that piece down here. And then as I go, I'm going to feel where that nose piece is and be careful not to sew over it. I'm going to go below it all the way across. Making sure I get that fabric here and knot it. And I have lost my Okay, and I'm top stitching along the bottom. All right, now we're going to go make the channels for the elastic. Okay, so I'll trim this. And then we're going, we, I have the nose piece at the top here again. I'm going to fold over about a quarter of an inch here and iron it flat. I don't use pins for this part. I find it much quicker not to, but if you need to use pins or just are more comfortable using pins, feel free. I'm going to do it again on this side. And then we're going to make the channel for the elastic. You want to find the edge of your nose piece and fold over to that because you don't want your needle to go through when you're sewing. So we're going to fold over and then iron this down. <laughs> and then again over here. All right, then we'll go back to the sewing machine and sew that. Okay, so now we're gonna sew the elastic channels. Again, about a quarter an inch in from the side here, from the inside. And we'll do the other side. Okay, we've made our mask and now we just put the elastic in. Okay, I'm going to trim, trim it. And then I'll take my elastic and thread it through. And if you haven't done this before, you just take your safety pin, pin it to the end of your elastic, stick it in your elastic channel and slide it up through. 
Okay, so I've got it through the first side, strung the elastic through. I'm going to string, go across the top like this, and carefully not to twist it, going down through the other side. I'm going to pull it out down here and adjust it so I've got equal amounts coming out each side. At this point, I like to fold it the way I'm going to deliver it to somebody because it's easier to tie the elastic at the bottom. So I'll fold it at that point. Get rid of the safety pin. And you want to make sure that you pull it so the sides, bottom sides are together so that there's no twisting the elastic that might cause lumps that would be uncomfortable for somebody to wear. And you just make one overhand knot like that. And then you're done. I can, um, I will iron it then to make it tidier. And before I give this to somebody, I'm going to let it sit for 20, uh, two days to three days to make sure that if there were any, if I were to be sick, that any viruses would die before the next the person would get it from me. Now next, I'm going to show you how to take this mask from this position, the way it's folded, and wear it. Remember to place your mask on yourself first before assisting others. Kittens! <laughs>